So I'm here with uh, Andrew from uh, Qubit Electronics. He's going to show us their new modules. Cool. So one module we're showing off today is the Nano Rand. It's going to be shipping next week. Uh, it's a random voltage generator, sample and hold, uh, clock output, random gate output, and noise source in 4 HP. So you can switch between four different random algorithms with this button or with a gate. You got step CV, random frequency LFOs and wave shapes, uh, random frequency square weight, audio waves, uh, audio rate square waves, and then a combination of all the other algorithms. Um, the second module we're showing is the Triger, which should be shipping in the next month or so. It's a manual gate, first of all, so if we bring this up over here. So we have each trigger, so this is the hi-hat, snare, and kick. So right off the bat it works, it's just a manual gate with arcade buttons. Really intuitive, you know, tactile, great tactile way to play the modular. And then, um, yeah, so if you, um, so you just get it ready to record. As soon as you start playing it, it starts your pattern. As soon as you hit record, it just loops it right where it is, and then it sends out a clock output extrapolated from the length of time that you played. So you can keep things in time, like sequencers or just various other things, with the pattern you played in. So you can get things, you can get drum patterns that are really humanistic, if you will, but still clock things from it, which is you know a really unique new way of interacting with the Eurorack system. Can it can it also be clocked from an external source? Can do. Yeah, can, uh, we're still getting all the functionality uh, down. This version we're going for a very playable, on the fly. You can play in the drum pattern. You can loop it. You can reel it in. So while it's while it's playing a pattern, you can then quickly you can quickly drop something else in seamlessly without uh, without breaking the beat. Right. You get play pause too, which you can trigger with a gate or manually, which helps uh, with keeping it in time. Also a roll feature. So if I paused it while the trigger is high, I can specify what. What trigger I want to roll? There's a control over the roll amount, which is the roll, and a gate or a button which will toggle the rolling on and off. So, uh, what else? What else is new? What else do you have? So, we're also showing a 2 HP envelope called the Eon here. So, this is um, it's opening up a filter. It has our core going into it, our oscillator. So you have your trigger, you have attack time, decay time, CV over attack and decay length, end of right gate, end of rise gate, and then your output for the envelope. And then when you switch that into oscillator mode, you still have a gate output, but it's an audio weight square wave oscillator, you know, full full range oscillator. And then the, you have, and the output is the LFO output. So that's what the button LED is showing right now. And then we switch it far right, it becomes a noise source. And, uh, and then you have this, uh, the, the last thing is our oscillator. polyphonic oscillator. Yeah, so bring it up right here. It's going through a filter. Switch between different waveforms. And if we key it, so then you can choose between chord quality and then inversion of the chord. And then you have individual outs and then a mix output as well. Um, so uh, what's the prices on each of these and uh, when will they be shipping? The Nano Rand is going to be $190. Uh, the rest of them yet to be determined, but <laughs> we'll, we'll let you guys know. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Enjoy NAM. Cheers.